Let's update the firmware on our DJI Avata and accessories using Windows PC and the DJ Assistant 2. So what we've decided to do is to update everything using the PC. I just think it's going to be a lot easier than waiting for the app to sort of connect. And then at least we know it's got all the latest firmware. So you just plug the USB connector to your goggles. Plug the other end to your PC after you've downloaded this program. The link will be in the description. And then it comes up with the item you've connected. We're going to do one at a time. So let's do the goggles first. We're going to click that. Uh, activate your device when you first connect it to the app. Start activation. Information over your device will be bound to this account. It serves as proof of your warranty. Please confirm the account is correct. Activating. Complete. And then it will find the latest firm. Wow. It really is behind. So let's do the latest, which is 1.08. And today's the 1st of November. We'll go upgrade. Connect. Computer is connected to the internet. Yes. Device powered on with sufficient battery, yes, and USB. So we're going to go start up. So we'll do the goggles. Oh, it's quite quick. And then we'll do the motion. And after that, we'll do the standard type remote control. They're all, I've charged them all fully before. So that's quite an update, isn't it? I, I can see why it wasn't connecting to the app, because the app that I've got on my phone would have had the latest version as well. Let that run live. Fast forward if it's a bit boring. I'm just turning on the motion and the other device. The DDI remote control. Yeah, it's quite a lot of update going on. Just gonna pause it. I don't want to touch any buttons on the PC, so I'm gonna use my OBS to pause this video. So it does reboot as it's doing this. Anyway, I just come on and it's seeing the, the items that were on my SD card uh, from the other device. Okay, that one's done. Probably advisable to do a reboot, but that one's done. Let's connect the controller. As soon as you connect the controller, it finds it. It's really, it's actually really good the way it does this. Controller and then we click that and then we're going to do the whole activation thing there later Okay, confirm your account complete and then So this one is showing that the controller is is current so that's good. So we don't need to do that Let's uh, just unlatch the USB cover and then connect this one It's quite fiddly just be careful, but it's just there inside the fan there. Just gonna try and pull it back and then you sort of turn it to the left, up and to the left. And then hopefully we'll get our, our lead in there. But they don't leave you much room to do this. Okay, we're in there, we'll click it, start activation, confirm your account. Complete. How many updates do we need on this one, I wonder? Of course, the, the device does need to be turned on. It's found all my SD card again. DJ Avata. Taking a while. Update no fly zone, yes. Transmitting. The next thing would be the motion two hand controller. Update complete, that was good. And I'll just show you that what, as you plug things in, Let's unplug and then plug it in. It finds it. It, found, it took longer to find the actual drone. But anyway, that's the controller. Start activation. Confirm account. Complete. Let's see if we've got any firmware update here. Yeah, there's a, a new one there. So we'll upgrade that. So the only one that said it didn't actually need it was the 
remote control. I am going to try that one more time just to make sure. But I'll post the videos I've done so far and I think we'll make the next video part two of actually getting this thing talking and, and running. It's, you know, because you've got multi, you've got four, three, four different devices, um, that it's not as straightforward in the sort of setting up process as the Mini Pro 3 and 4 that I've used. But everything seems to be working fine. Fast forward past this, I'm, I just don't want to push the uh, any buttons on the PC. I'll just get my OBS to pull. Again, these devices reboot as they're loading the firmware. That's good, and we got 100% complete on that. And then just quickly plug in the the um, hand device one last time, just to make sure the DJI FPV remote controller is what it's actually called. Yeah, all looks fine to me. So that's it. So I think I've got everything. So that's the goggles, the RC Motion 2. DJI FPV and the and the DJI Avata. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.